All right, so I put it on. This is what it looks like on me. Bam. What is up, you guys? Back at y'all with another video. Why am I so excited today? Well, as you will see here, the parts finally came in. Good old Rona wasn't doing us any good, but I got the Noctuna fans. So we're gonna get this printer over here a lot more silent. I'm gonna have a video following me going through it. You'll see later on. Also, also, it's a Raspberry Pi camera. Raspberry Pi came in today. We're gonna be setting up OctoPi, which I'm super excited about because that there's the stuff you could do with it is amazing. So stick around, follow around. You're not gonna want to miss this. Right there's the part that we'll need for the fans to be set up, printed. This is exciting. I can't wait for this printer to be upgraded. Hey, hey, OctoPi. Our Raspberry Pi is in. The small micro SD card is in. The camera is in with the huge extension cable. Problem, why am I filming in the dark? Well, it's been a very windy day, and so <laughs> the electricity got knocked out. No worries, I got a MacBook, which has some power, some juice left, and we're currently downloading stuff on our hotspot. <laughs> hey, I promise they vlogging style. Nothing stops Anton from getting his 3D printing hobby going. So, here we are. Roll the freaking clip. We'll be installing this with uh, on battery mode. Awesome. So technically it's installed and set up on my Raspberry Pi. Still no electricity. So I'm going to go back to my printer and try to replace the fans in the dark. All right, this is gonna be fun. Power's still not on, I was hoping it would be. But uh, that was a lot of screws to undo. About 13 over here, four on the sides. So the first thing that I need to replace is what's in the power supply. Um, but to get to that, I need to undo some screws around the fan. The only way to get to that is if this box is loose. So I'm gonna unscrew those on the other side, unscrew these inside. And then we'll be back when I'm going to be unplugging and plugging in other fans. Ta-da! We now have light and the lid is off. I just took off the power supply lid. That one had a whole bunch of screws on the sides on the bottom. You had to even get some on the under the bed to be able to lift this thing to get some. So I just unscrewed this fan. So I'm going to be replacing this fan. It's just connected over here. Replace that fan and that fan. Roll the time lapse. All right, moment of truth. Does it work? These are all plugged in. That one's replaced. I put the lid on two screws. That one should be replaced. Hopefully, these will be running. All right, that one's running. And this one's running. Really quiet. Definitely blowing here. And this one's blowing out. All right. Looks like we're good. All right, guys. So I spent like all night setting up the fans. 
gonna be quiet for a second so you tell if there's if it's quiet or not. It's definitely to me slightly quieter at idle. There was an issue with the print. So first of all, you see it's feeling here on the sides. Now this is a bowl, so it's gonna keep adding on those layers and going up and up. But I haven't tested it during a print. The reason is I've been setting up Octopi. So we got this really ghetto looking system right now. No worries, that's gonna be remedied soon. Um, just need some time to get to that. So I've been messing around with learning about Octopi this whole time and uh, we're gonna upload and start our first print. All it is is uh, about a two hour print of some parts. So we're gonna hit print. Ta-da, look at this guys, we got progress. So we got our camera feed, we see everything we wanna monitor. Here it is, it's going. I did not use anything at all. Didn't touch the printer at all. Didn't use the SD card even on it. This is all from Octopi. So I know there are people out there that are like, this is too complicated or it costs a little bit more money, this and that. You could just do a smart light switch and you know some other stuff to control it, watch it and you know make sure you're safe. But that is true. Octopi gives you an infinite amount of much more customization. I mean, I can see the progress of my layers. Nothing else can do that for me. You know, uh, there's an app I realize it's called the Spaghetti Detective. I mean, it uses AI, to, it uses the camera that's hooked up on the side here to see if there's spaghetti going on and it'll pause the print and it'll send you a text. But I mean, this is insane, this is nuts. So we'll see, that's my first day. The fans, by the way. I'm going to shut up right now for five seconds. Y'all tell me, how much quieter are they? I mean, the movement of the printer head itself is louder than the fans by this point. And, you know, my bed is heated up all the way. If the bed stops being heated up, you'll barely be able to hear anything. This is... I'm super happy about today's upgrades. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you enjoy this video. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys joining me on my journey. We have a lot of more fun stuff and cool stuff coming up for y'all.